With Minnesota Fighting Vikings lost tight end Irv Smith Jr. before the season with an injury, the thinking was Tyler Gronklin would step up one for one as a replacement as a tight end one. And he has. Respect. But the Vikings also hedged their bets by shipping a fourth round pick to the goddamn Jets for tight end Chris Herndon and a sixth round pick. Now, the sixth rounder is important because people who just hate Spielman and hate trades, blah, 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 they'll just be like, why would you set a fourth round pick on fire? No, you got a sixth round back. Plus, by the way, the Jets paid off the bulk of Hernan's remaining salary, so bop, 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 bop. But even with all those parameters, the trade for the former University of Miami, that's just the U being the U stud, uh, hasn't really panned out so far, fueling the dumbest rivalry in sports history even more. Because if you look at the snaps and usage, Tyler Gronklin, obviously top dog, 269 snaps, Nice. 25 targets, 19 catches, a buck 69, and a touchdown. Ben Ellison, the pride of Howley, Minnesota, and the former Jacksonville Jaguar, has stepped in nicely as tight end two, mainly in a blocking role. And Chris Herndon has only gotten on the field for 50 snaps, two targets, zero catches. He's also had two penalties uh, against the Lions, but uh, were those pretty iffy? I, I would say so. Also, surprisingly, Herndon has not played on special teams, which is really weird for a backup tight end. So I don't know what the reason is there. Maybe because the Vikings have several talented linebackers that have been filling in the special teams roles. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, there's a couple reasons why Herndon hasn't been really getting involved. Number one, he's learning a new offense on the fly, and he's only five weeks in. And, yes, you could say Ben Elfson is doing the same thing, but blocking a little bit more ubiquitous than uh, learning the receiving roles, and that's what uh, their respective roles are. Ben Elfson's much better blocker, and the Vikings have need needed that out of their tight end, too. Herndon, the better receiver, just hasn't gotten on the field yet. Also, Gronklin has been great as tight end one, so that's no issue there. Also, the Vikings have run 11 personnel, 46% of their offensive snaps this year, which, I mean, they're still fifth from the bottom in the league in terms of that personnel usage. One running back, one tight end, three wide receivers, but they only ran a three wide 29% in 2020. So this ain't your Papa Kubiak's offense. So is Chris Herndon a bust and does Rick Spielman not know what he's doing? I mean, if you expected Mark Bavaro or Mike Ditka or Prime Gronk, uh, sure. But a tight end three for the difference between a fourth and a sixth round pick where the other team picks up the bulk of the player's remaining salary? Yes, even under those parameters, <laughs> it's still been a disappointment. Now, there's still time. I mean, it's still a long-ass season. We're only five games in. But if it doesn't work out, could the Vikings flip Herndon again? Maybe for a seventh-round pick? Try to get out of that trade? They go all Yannick the freaking Gakwe diet version on it? Maybe, but what's more likely is that the Vikings will ride it out with Herndon. Obviously, they like him better than Zach Davidson, the rookie, or Brandon Dillon, the Marion Barbarian, or maybe they just don't want to be embarrassed and they don't want to say that the trade was a bust and then just let him go, and it's fine. But he'll probably ride out the season on the Vikings roster, and then he has an expiring contract, and if he signs somewhere else, maybe the Vikings will get a compensatory pick out of it. But so far... Uh, not so much. But again, like we said, he's only been in the building for five friggin' weeks. Maybe he'll bust out. This will happen in fantasy football where he'll just come in randomly and he'll have nine catches for 222 yards and three touchdowns. And then zero catches the rest of the way. That's what will happen. Hey, that's exactly what will happen. It'll be against the Packers too at Lambeau late in the season. Book it. Uh, but your thoughts and our thoughts. Has Chris Herndon trade been a bust so far? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. We want to support that work pool of something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.